Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today with us uh, is Dr. Mubeen Shah. Uh, is a known Kashmiri leader, a known businessman. Always uh, he give us time and we discuss especially on the matter of Kashmir as a major conflict between India and Pakistan. Shah Saab, thank you very much for your time from Turkey. Shah Saab. Thank you, sir. Thank you very <clears throat> much, sir. Sir, uh, many analysts in the world they believe that the World War III uh, is started. And recently, Beirut-based analyst and writer, Sharmeen Narwani, she has given an uh, interview to The Cradle, and she said that she got a reliable report, uh, reliable from the reliable sources, that Americans airlifted ISISK elements from Syria and they settled them in Afghanistan so that they can create instability in the region so that China, Pakistan, Iran, Russia cannot be connected with uh, Afghanistan. And then we observed a blast in concert hall outside of Moscow. Then we also observing terrorist activities within Pakistan so that pipeline cannot be connected, road network cannot be connected. How do you see this situation, sir? Sir, I have, uh, you know, last time also told uh, in our blog, in our, you know, discussions that uh, in the region, you see, the biggest uh, problem for the United States is the CPEC. Mm. And which, uh, you know, was told to us also a long time back when we mm. were, we were told by nothing less than a commercial attach of of the American embassy, mm. that we will not allow it to flourish or we will not even allow it to operate. So the point is this thing that, is it, a say, it, is, is it in the same context that all these things are happening? And you can see that the target is Chinese, for example, Chinese engineers in Pakistan. Mm. Why? You know, because, you know, uh, the what is the basic aim? Aim is basically that the CPC should stop. And uh, uh, it is not only for, because uh, basically uh, the United States, whatever it has done, mm. and if we see now backwards, that whatever has happened, suppose in the regime change in Pakistan, it also is reflective of, that they want something to be done in, in Pakistan. They should be on their side, you know, rather than on China side. So, and uh, unfortunately, the previous army chief had already sort of, in a way, uh, made commitments to them that they will shift policy. While the then prime minister was telling one policy and the, 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 the chief army staff Told in a in a in a regional meeting in an international meeting that the policy is going to not to now look towards east now look towards west. So the point is, so when we connect these dots, we and we feel that this is what is the plan. You know, so this ISIS, if this strengthens this point that they have shifted these people to Afghanistan. And made them, uh, you know, they might be doing clandestinely. The names may be given by, you know, in front of TTP. There is an element of TTP. There is no question about that. But they are, you know, naturally, uh, they are again getting the necessary funding from, let us say, India, because India has been already, you know, uh, on record. You know, their 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 national security advisor long time back before he became national security advisor. He, in a, in a speech, told that, you know, if I will be like this, then we will also do to Pakistan, India, Balochistan, and these things. And they are continuing that. And that is what is the whole plan. So if, it, if the dot connecting is done, then certainly it is a case that uh, this is what, what uh, the United States wants and uh, to have control on the region. Uh, the point is, what for? You know, uh, you know, uh, because some historians even tell us, you know, for example, this Kashmir was uh, created, kept a problem by the British 
for you know for in the future it will be a very important point place for uh, you know uh, to control china to control uh, you know the, that region mm -hmm. so uh, even uh, in our history for example uh, the there has been talk at that point of time that you know our our <clears throat> The then Prime Minister who took over, Prime Minister Sheikh Abdullah, he at one point of time did try to, to you know, he was actually arrested. One of the reasons of his arrest in 1953 was that Nehru told to the people in India that he had started, uh, you know, having relationship with the Americans because the, um, the American ambassador in India had come to Kashmir and he had a long uh, talk with Sheikh Abdullah and after that Sheikh Abdullah started talking about independent Kashmir and all that and that is why he was then arrested because he, it was one of the allegations was that also to him that you know he wanted to uh, be sort of um, you can say uh, independent entity with control from the United States so this is all this, this is a long time plan so now these countries, you know, uh, they have a, let us say, a 50 years plan, 60 years plan, 70 years plan. They do it in different, different ways and models. One one does not succeed, the other one succeeds, the other one succeeds. So, and um, then, you know, <clears throat> nobody knew, for example, we did not know that, for example, uh, that uh, CPC is going to be very important because uh, now, because now we know because of South China, South China Sea, South China Sea, you know, uh, it is important because it is an alternative route for China. China has become an economic power to feed its, its economy. It needs energy, and that energy will come through this route. You know, that is the connection and to export. And if the South China in Johor Strait is blocked, so this has to be taken into account by uh, people who, uh, who make policy in, in Pakistan particularly that and you can um, we can understand that you know Pakistan is under tremendous pressure at this time uh, by these uh, elements international elements you can say and uh, unfortunately uh, this is my perception I may be wrong the, the the people have people within Pakistan have helped this will help this uh, model, you know, and uh, by giving access again to um, uh, to these countries to create problems and all that. And and unfortunately now, Pakistan has also very bad relations with with uh, Afghanistan, you know, uh, and uh, it it if they do not handle it properly, it can become a very big big problem and. And uh, it is very easy to have, uh, you know, action and reaction, you know, in, in such such atmosphere. Because it is done, let us say, for example, if the model is that ISIS is doing it, it can do it every, you know, every 15 days, 10 days, 15 days, mm -hmm. because they are all mercenaries, which if we go to the history of ISIS, it has been in Syria also. It is, it is a group of mercenaries. There is talk. There is, there is. If we have read about it, that it is you know a, a front of of the Israeli American combined, and there are people actually. Some of them have been. <laughs> there were reports also in the international press that they were not Muslims at all. They were acting as Muslims, but they're not Muslims. So. Uh, all this has to be taken into account by all the planners. You know, we don't know because this is what is it. Now we connect all these dots and we see that this is because because you see, America is overlooking to a large extent, overlooking to a large extent. I can say even to the maximum extent, the human right violations India has done in let us say Kashmir. Mm -hmm. If it would have been normal situation, previous situation, you know, they would have, you know, put sanctions, this thing, that thing, but now, no, no, nothing like that. And this clearly indicates that there is something to it. 
that uh, although they are now lately making some noises, it's all, all I think, presently, it's all to pressurize China to toe the line, to pressurize India to toe their line, nothing else. It is not all, all uh, you know, it's just like telling Israel that you are not doing any human, you are doing human rights violation, but doing nothing about it. It is the same thing what they are doing to, with India at this point of time. It may change, but this is what is the perception and which is what I feel about it. Aisha Sahib, you are absolutely right. I mean, if you see the history of Pakistan-US relationship, especially in 1960s, as per the ex-bureaucrat Shahabuddin, who was very near to uh, General Ayub Khan, when there was a 1965 war between 1962 war between 62. India and China, yeah. Uh, yeah. Indian Army left Kashmir and they were concentrating on the Chinese border. And this was an opportunity when Chinese had come and just control the Kashmir. So these were Americans who did not uh, let Pakistan to have a control over uh, uh, Indian held yeah. Kashmir. And they said we yeah, would set, settle down it later on. If uh, yeah. during Cold War, when <laughs> Pakistan was the partner of United States of America, even then Americans did not let this issue to be resolved, how they can do this now? Uh, Dr. Tahir Amin, uh, led Dr. Tahir Amin, he was a very seasoned professor in Qaeda Azam University. He wrote a book, a very famous book, Mass Resistance in Kashmir, and in which he has uh, mentioned that there is a consensus between uh, among China, India, and Pakistan that we would not let Azad Kashmir to be there because in other case, uh, otherwise it would be uh, it would be a satellite of the West from where West can control all these nations. So uh, this is the version that Dr. Tahir Amin has given uh, after after having a lot of research on it. Now. Uh, by having this situation that we discussed uh, in the uh, first question, do you think that this situation is letting India to colonize Kashmir because India is now the partner of the West in containing China? So there is, a, uh, there is a, uh, I cannot say that, that uh, there is a common interest because Western interest is to contain China, Indian interest is to uh, have a control over Kashmir. So there is a harmony of the interest. Do you see this? Do you agree with this, sir? Yes. Uh, yeah, certainly, you know, because, you know, what we, we, uh, we, we feel as a Kashmiri, we feel that India is taking advantage of its position at this point of time. You know, yeah, it is taking uh, the utmost uh, advantage of of the of the present position and scenario and to contain uh, to contain china they are taking all these advantages as i told in the, my last uh, you know uh, uh, interaction i had with you that is very easy for uh, uh, america to tighten the screws of india because uh, you know if let us say, let us give an example. You know, for example, if you know that when Trump started shouting about China, China got worried because of the trade part of it, isn't mm -hmm. it? Nothing else. Trade. They said because they had trade surplus with America. They, their trade is not so diversified that they, the American market can be replaced by any other country. You see? So China, India is, I can tell you, India is very much dependent on American trade. This is the this is the problem of of, of free not problem of free trade as such, but because the biggest market in the world is the United States of America, there is no doubt about that. Okay, because the other countries are not so much developed that they can consume so much of of products as the United States can do. Mm. So United States, in a way, in these last after India become sort of onto the developing stage. India has become now so much dependent. It is trade is not diversified as now China's is. China is also still dependent on the United States, but India is more dependent on the United States. It can tighten the screw of United States, of India at any point of time. Let us be let the Indian be leaving aside their tall talks, their their politicians or their businessmen and all that thing. It is all dependent, the majority of their exports is to the United States, 
trade is there. If they stop the flow, they're gone. They will be, you know, already the poverty level is not. You see, what is in India is that, yes, there are, there are islands of, uh, of uh, in the urban areas that people have made money and all that, but the majority is still, you know, below, below poverty line. So the point is this thing, that <clears throat> nowadays, as you know, you being a, 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 a person who, who teaches, all, who teaches that nowadays it is not only um, it's all because of the economy that people that the United States or any other country controls everything, and you know they are controlling everything because of trade. Mm -hmm. So India is yes taking advantage of that situation at the present time, and the time it the more time it gets, mm -hmm. it will colonize in Kashmir with no deterrent from the other side. You see, unfortunately for us. Pakistan has is, has landed in a situation where, except for making some noises diplomatically, nothing else he, Pakistan can do, which we saw after 2019 when your army chief gave you know a, a ceasefire, <laughs> while as you know it is it is actually a replica of 1962 in a way, because 1962 Ayub Khan did not Ayub Khan did not agree. He was got influence under America, and you know, and at that time, Pakistan took advantage of the sense, not in the sense that they they did it for Kashmir. They developed themselves. Mm. If we can see the era of Ayub Khan, there was a lot of development in Pakistan. It was because of the money coming in from basic money from coming from the United States, and at the same time doing trade, Pakistanis took advantage. But at the same time, they left that core issue like that. So today, in the 2019, you see, when China attacked, or 2020, I think, yeah, 2020, China attacked India, or 2021. So, but on the other side, instead of having a second front, whereas there was talk in all the media, if you see that that time, when uh, China attacked Galvan, even the Indian press, Indian people, Indian intellectuals were saying that we should not have a second front with Pakistan. And lo and behold, your army chief gives ceasefire to them. We know that the, that that time the prime minister, and we, it is now proved that the prime minister was not in control of the of of what, what particularly foreign policy. The army chief decides it, you know, in Pakistan, whatever it is. So uh, it was given ceasefire. So it emboldened India. We Kashmiris even. Even have a feeling, a perception. I may be wrong. I am not saying that. I am not talking it against the army as such. But the perception is that the 2019 August thing was done in consultation with your army chief. The action which India, which was not, which was not till then, right from 1947, not having the courage to do it. They, it was done on uh, with consultation with them because a green signal was given by the powers to be whether it was the army chief and then in in that it was involvement of uh, America your 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 Middle East countries they are a part of it we we our Kashmiri's perception is that I may be wrong history history will uh, tell us you know it may come out after ten years fifteen years twenty years. But, normally comes out that what had happened that time, what had not happened that time. At the same time, you know, uh, and we as Kashmiris would feel to, we would also look up to America because we would feel that America is a country which which supports human rights, which supports all these things, which has, you know, they, internationally they tell. But now we are seeing that they are exposed, you know. In, you know in, and in our case, the last time is certainly there. In our case, it's also like that. That they have given a free hand to India and uh, they are doing it, you know, because India is taking advantage of it, you know. And But let us be very, very frank that whatever India, it may reach a stage where if Modi tries to overdo his hand or what you can say that, you know, mm. there will be problems for India. Mm.
You are absolutely right. America has been exposed, especially in Gaza Israel war. On the one hand, they say that uh, we feel very sorry that uh, Israel is committing uh, human rights violation and uh, violation, violating the humanitarian laws. But on the other hand, they are sanctioning $16 billion weapon to Israel, in which they are providing 16 F-15 jet fighters and other material. It is, it is not only that. It is not only that, sir. If you see the, the scenario of the situation in Gaza, the first thing the United States did was to shift its uh, fleets, yes. you know, the, uh, the sea fleets. First, why? To cover against any country which may intervene. Yes, yes. Now Israel has attacked with the F-35 uh, jets uh, on uh, uh, Iranian consulates in Damascus. And when Iranians, they said that we would retaliate, we would give the reply to the Israelis. Americans, they are deterring Iranians. Don't do this. Otherwise, we will be there. So, I mean, this is irony. And therefore, this is, this is my understanding. The, the liberal world order has uh, shattered, you see, and creating a space for other powers to give alternative structure. Sir, sir, one thing let us be very clear. No country, no country except Russia, or China, to a certain extent, can stand up to America. Okay? Let us be very, very clear. Mm. So, all this fleet which was moved to, to this region, you know, 7th Fleet or whatever the name is, 6th Fleet or something like that, mm. uh, was moved. Why? Mm. Because no country, you know, we are blaming, we, unfortunately, Muslims or a lot of people blame the countries around around Gaza that they are not doing anything. We, I miss myself also play. I <laughs> invariably tweet to OIC countries what your people are doing. Nothing. You are doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So, But the point is we have to be realistic that no country can, can Turkey stand up to America? No. Can um, United uh, Saudi Arabia stand up to America? No. Mm -hmm. Until unless the United States leaves that cover of Israel, nothing will going to work. Yes. Until unless, yes, Russia comes openly in war in this region, which may be a possibility, which may be a possibility to put, put off the pressure in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, I just was reading an uh, article by somebody that, you know, uh, they have sent their, uh, their forces to, into Golan Heights mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after this attack. Mm -hmm. You know, after this attack, they have sent some forces to Golan Heights. Yes, yes. So... You know, if if let us say tomorrow on Golan Heights, the attack is from Russia, in conformity with 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 uh, Iran and all, then it is going to be a very big drust, uh, disastrous war. Yes, you are right, uh, Shah Sab. Uh, time is running out, so uh, I wish I have another question. I inshallah in the next episode we will discuss the next uh, question which is regarding the UN cry from the Indian opposition that they are not being provided at the level playing field so in the next episode inshallah we will discuss in detail thank you very much Shah Saab, uh, viewers we are waiting for your comments inshallah in the next episode we will discuss the Indian politics and its impact on Kashmir thank you very much Allah Hafiz Allah.